Yo, what's up? It's LB. Learn something. All right, now in today's video, I will be discussing self-assessment and building a strong self-concept. What is this? I ask that all the time. What the fuck does it mean to self-assess? Well, what do you think it means? Fuck, this is not my video. You do the video. Fuck it. You know what? Fuck it. I'm back. All right, look. Self-assessment. What is that? You're looking within yourself and you're actually critiquing yourself from the viewpoint objectively as possible so you can make sure that the value of your life is at its full potential. That's what self-assessment is. We got that shit out the way. Self-concept, the idea, how you see yourself. What do you really want? That bridging of the gap between what do you see yourself as and the actions that you take to be that person. That's what I'm gonna talk about in today's video. Stay tuned. First things first, when it comes to self-assessment, it's honesty. If you cannot be honest with yourself, if you're around a person who can't be honest with themselves, what the fuck makes you think they can be honest with you? Like, think about it. If a person can't look at their life and say, you know what? Like, I understand a slight delusion, you know, of, of positivity and optimism. In your life i do understand that I, I, that slight delusion i get it like you know what man my shit good it's only gonna get better let me keep going but then if they can't backtrack and say where exactly am i at now like what situation are you at right now this second if they can't look at that sit look at that and honestly create an objective reality opposite of this positive optimistic quote unquote bullshit, then they're not honest. They're not honest, man. They're not fucking honest. You know, if you can't look at your situation with the people around you, your job situation, and your situation without saying, I don't want to think about it. I can't think about it. Because just the thought of thinking about where you are right now is painful, that you don't even want to be honest with yourself, then you're never going to make it anywhere in life. Like, you're never going to make it to your full potential in life if you can't look at where you're at now and honestly assess it. And... You can't honestly, objectively give an assessment about someone else's life and be transparent with like just the friendship if you if you can't be honest with yourself. You're always gonna be looking through these lenses of like, since since my life is better than what I think it is, their life must be worse than what I think it is. So you're gonna look at this person and then make this crazy judgment and it's gonna be hurtful for the, to them because you're making it look worse than what it is. And you're gonna look at yourself and say, shit, I'm doing good. Like, I'm good when you not, when you not doing good. So first things first, have honesty, man. Honesty. It's policy. Second thing is that you have to be willing to take a little bit of pain, man. Self-assessments hurt, man. That shit fucking hurts. It hurts a lot. Like, when I was doing a self-assessment of myself a couple years ago, I was looking at all the books I read. I only read one fucking book in my whole life. It was 2013, the, begin the end of 2013. And it's actually the end of 2015. And I read one fucking book in my whole life, and it was called Lindsay. You know, about this woman that was in New Orleans. She was a fucking witch and I read it for school, you know? And I was like, I can't let this be my life. I can't be literally illiterate. Like I can't, and, and, and hopefully y'all get what I meant by that, is that I can't just be like, just stupid. Like I, I, I felt as though I was dumb. Like all I did was Facebook, YouTube, and I had no uh, added knowledge in my head. and. And I felt horrible, like, you know, and it was a cool horrible because I knew I could do something about it. And that's what self-assessments are supposed to be, you know, it's supposed to be a reflection of who you are that brings in some pain because you're destroying a part of your ego that's creating this concept that you are all right. You are all good where you at. And it's OK to have that self-acceptance. But then you have to have the self-development side of it, too. And, and that's where, that's the self-assessment coming to bridge that gap. Third thing, have goals to compare your status to objectively. Like, how can you self-assess where you're at if you don't know where you're going? Like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> be like, okay, I wanna read all of these books. And I started reading one book, right? And it took me a whole fucking year to read that one book. 
If I self-assess myself and say, I want to read all these books, I started. You know, like, that's true. You did start. But what is your fucking goals? What do you want to, where do you want to be at in, in a year's time? Or in a half a year's time? Or in three months? Or in fucking a week? Like, where do you want to be in that time? And that's ultimately is going to help you self-assess more accurately and make adjustments more accurately if you have goals to compare objectively to where your process is. Your ability to self-assess is going to determine the potential quality of your entire life. And with that being said, like my video, share my video, and comment below. And until next time, learn something.